Hello everyone, my name is Vianney and today I'm going to be showing an overview of my Pandora leather bracelets collection and a couple little tips or things that I've learned along the way about them. Um, first I'm going to start off with the single strand bracelets. Um, these were kind of um, the first ones that I had. They're the older style of the Pandora leather bracelets. I have a like metallic purple type one. I have two black ones. And then I have two champagne ones. Um, they do not look the same because um, this one I took, I've been taking very well um, care of. So it still looks nice and um, you know it has that sh champagne color to it where this one um, I did take care of it but um, this little clip I actually put one of those little silicone pieces inside it so it doesn't move around anymore because I'll just show you real quick because um, originally when I had it on my first champagne leather bracelet I didn't have this little silicone piece see that on it so it was moving around on the bracelet and it doesn't it didn't seem like it was you know it's not sharp in there um but the movement was enough to rub off the color see i mean it still looks nice it looks fun and different um but technically you know that was like you know user error um so yeah, that's what I've learned. Just to be extra careful with the things I put on my leather bracelets, which are like this this um, woven style ones. Next up, I do have some of the like the double wrapped ones. Um, so they're longer. I've seen people use them as like chokers, as necklaces, but the idea is you wrap it twice around your wrist, and you'll get that layered you'll get that layered look. So I have a natural brown one. Um, I have a black one. I have the metallic gunmetal silver one. And if you see right there, actually, um, right here, it has also like, I guess it's like rubbing off because um, I had um, the double diva clips on this one for a long time with, um, with like a little pendant. And you know, that's why I'm trying to be extra careful with this. As soon as, soon as I saw that happen to this one, I just took it off. I'm gonna wear it plain just for layering, just to add pops of color. Next up is this pink one. Um, these are the newer versions where they had a round clasp and this was smooth, the little end bits were smooth. So with these, um, you kind of, um, it's more important to have clips that have the silicone on the inside or to put the silicone before you put on a clip um, just because if not if you open this everything would slide off so I just have this um, Murano on here I have two of the cherry blossom clips and I have two Trinity spacers in hot pink those spacers are some of my favorite just to add pops of color um, they're really fun, but again, unfortunately, these are retired. Um, then I have the pretty, like, metallic green one. Um, the pink one and this one were limited releases, and actually most of these have been retired by now, actually. But um, on this one, I have the pink CZ Double Diva Clips. I have two of them. Um, I'm really lucky to have some of these because they're oldies and they don't have anything like it that has, see that? spots for um two bracelets you can do two, dif two different bracelets or ones that double wrap like this um you can put them on a chain and then put like a ring here and like to hang off of it or like a charm um potentially one that was narrow enough to fit in there to hang off of a chain so they're pretty versatile um they're fun then i have this double ring bead this is morass it's got a large cz heart on it and then some like, um, like some, not beading, but some details around it to frame it. And then a little bit of oxidization. It's really pretty. Um, so that's these, the regular double wraps. And next I have the newer version of the double wrap um, leather bracelets. If you can see that they're stitching. And these are kind of like a solid piece of like the leather just stitched onto some sort of a cord. 
and they have a loop and hook closure. And this you can't take off, but this you can with that little button right there. So they loop in or thread in through this end. Um, on this one, it's like my um, teal beach ocean life, like tropical type bracelet. To start off, I have this little coconut drink with a little umbrella and a straw. This one's from Kohl's. Then I have the Mermaid Murano. Then I have the sterling silver, um, like a seashell with a little sea star on it. They have the two tone version of this, <clears throat> but unfortunately I couldn't find that one when I wanted this one. So I just got the silver one and then later I found the two tone, but I just kept, I just stopped at this. Um, then they have a little seahorse. It's really cute. Then I have one of the Kohl's charms, a palm tree little coconuts on the bottom you can see them there then i have this spacer i think it's called the pebbles spacer not 100 percent sure but i have that here because um if the leaves that way kind of gives some room underneath of it in case they come together so it's not you know over this one um just because it's too um it's not wide enough to fully do it and like go over it nicely then I have um, two of the Sea Star two tone clips. I have one here and one right there. Then, um, so that's like I did it kind of, this one I followed kind of like a regular snake chain where I divided it in three pieces like the one, the middle, and the end. So now in the middle, I have a. Um, birthday bloom this one's a december one so it's like a it's a little turquoise stone and this one's older and it has a little stain here i'm not sure how that happened um but it's really pretty then i have the mermaid then i have um i think this was the sea glass or looking glass murano then i have a little fish just a random cute little fishy then I have this CZ, I don't remember the name of these, um, like, mm, no, I, I can't even guess, but it's an open mark. Um, then again, I have that clip. Then on my last piece, another Mermaid Murano, a little, um, the parrot with CZs on it. It's really cute. Then I have the Sea Star with another CZ and it's a bit oxidized. So this one, when you wear it around your wrist, we'll just hook this on. And I've never had this open up on me. Um, I mean, I have, I've only been trying them out for a few months, but we'll see how it goes. But yeah, no problems so far. And it kind of looks like this when it's on your wrist, just kind of like randoms, just random charms, just like around your wrist. It's fun because it, it's a little bit, these are a little bit more fun and um like free going than um on the snake chains how charms tend to be so that's this one next up i have the brown one and this one it's my wildlife themed bracelet these just kind of move around wherever they feel like it but i'll start again on the end First I have the zebra print heart. Then I have a rose gold um, glitter and enamel bead. Then I have a hippo. He's also older, retired. Then I have the Pandora logo silver clip. Then I have the Lioness, the Rose Gold Lioness with the yellow CZs. Next up I have, um, this is a retired, like a cheetah print, Murano. I got it online and it seemed legit. The seller seemed legit with all the other things they had. Um, I'm not, I can't, I'm not sure because I was never too, um, 
like familiar with these so I can't 100% tell but it does look legit and it's nice next up the cheetah print heart then I have a little elephant this is one of the older versions there's so many I think there's like three at least three retired elephants but this is the more like I don't know like the full bodied one the more like quirky one not as realistic as maybe some of the other ones look then I have another of those rose gold glitter and enamel beads. And then um, I think this is your In My Heart clip. So that's this one. And then the last one, it's a work in progress, but it's the spicy orange. Um, again, the hoop closure. I have one of those, um, those clips that have like the double openings. Um, and so far, I have the little Morris squirrel on here. And I have one of the Jumbo Moranos. This is also very old. Uh, I don't have a lot of orange or red um, beads. So this one's where they're going to live. Um, and most of them are kind of nature themed. So they'll match the flowers, the squirrel. And um, I'll see how I play around with this and it turns out. All right, but I hope everyone enjoyed this little video, this little overall look of my um, Pandora leather bracelet collection. Until the next one, bye-bye.